Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number 21. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to create an HTML form. And I'm also going to talk about how to create an input field for text and also for a password. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and make sure that you have the previous document open from the previous tutorial. And once you do that, we're going to go ahead and click right after the closing ordered list tag that we created in the previous tutorial. And I'm going to hit the enter key and I'm going to start writing my HTML form. So I'm going to write angle bracket, the word form, another angle bracket, and then I'm going to write the closing form tag. And that's going to define the starting and ending point for our HTML form. And after that, we want to go ahead and create an input field for text or basically a place where the user is going to be able to enter their information. But before we create that input field for text, we first need to give that input field a title. In this case, I'm going to call it username colon. And after we define that input field title, let's go ahead and create an input field tag where the user is going to be able to enter their information. So I'm going to write angle bracket input. And again, that's just defining a tag where the user is going to be able to put their information into the HTML form. Hit the, hit the space bar key. I'm sorry, I almost said enter there. And after you hit the space bar key, let's write the word type equals text. And basically that's an HTML attribute that's going to tell that input field that, hey, you're going to be entering text-based information for that field. And after that, let's hit the space bar key. And then let's write the word name equals. And you're going to write user login name in quotes. And then angle bracket. And I'll get to that last HTML attribute in a moment. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and hit Control S and take a look at what this looks like in our web browser. And as you'll see, you'll see that the username title is showing up in our web browser and our input field is this small rectangle that we see here. And if you were to click inside there and write the name Joe or whatever name you want to and hit enter, it'll take that field. And if you look at it in our address bar, you'll see that it says user login name equals Joe. So basically what just happened there is the, the information we entered into that input field was taken in. In this case, the name is Joe. And it also took in that name attribute that we gave the input field. In this case, it says user login name. So if this information was going to your, your email address, it would take in user login name for the name attribute. And the value would be Joe because we entered in the value Joe in that input field. So hopefully you understand what's going on here. If you don't, definitely send me a, a message on YouTube or leave a comment and I'll do my best to assist you. So let's go ahead and go back to our HTML form and write the break uh, tag. And that's going to create a, a line break so that our next input field will be on the next line in our, in our uh, HTML form. And this time I'm going to write a uh, title that says password and colon. And after we define our title, let's go ahead and create our input field. And this time we're going to write type equals password because we're, we're creating a password field. And for the name, I'm going to write name equals, and then quotes, I'm going to write PWD. And PWD is just short for, for password. Okay. And then go ahead and hit control S and go ahead and go back to your web browser, hit the refresh key. And you'll see that now we have an input field for password. And if we were to type in the name Joe again, we could do that. And then for our next input field, if we were to type, it would treat it as a password field and our characters would be hidden. So that's how you create a input field for a text text based information. And that's also how you create an input field for passwords. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.